Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Apache Spark and Apache Flink. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the performance they offer. Both Spark and Fink are designed to offer high scalability and performance. However, Apache Flink offers greater speed than Spark when processing streaming data. Spark leverages micro-batches to initiate streaming, but Flink leverages native streaming. Due to this, Flink processes each dataset in real-time with minimum latency. Spark, however, offers near real-time data processing within the general performance benchmarks. Therefore, Flink offers higher data processing speed. Fault Tolerance Spark uses RDDs or Resilient Distribution Datasets to leverage fault tolerance. These are unchangeable broken data designs that are reprogrammable if the system fails. Additionally, Spark loads data genealogically to trace dependencies and restore lost data. Flink, however, leverages a distributed image-based approach to enhance fault tolerance. Moreover, it records the condition of the app at distinct locations. Due to this, Flink records faster recovery time and consistency during failures with almost zero impact on speed. Therefore, Flink has a higher fault resilience rate. APIs and Libraries Spark is accessible to more developers due to its broader range of APIs. Developers can access its APIs in Python, Java, R, and Scala. Additionally, the platform has detailed libraries such as GraphX, MLib, and Spark Streaming. On the other hand, Flink has fewer APIs, which makes it less accessible to developers. It only offers Python, Java, and Scala. Also, its libraries are less detailed and include Jelly, Flink CEP, and Flink ML. Therefore, Spark offers more vibrant APIs and detailed libraries. Optimization Flink is built in with an independent optimizer, which is lacking in Spark. Due to this, Flink can optimize its operations before it executes them in the streaming environment. On the other hand, Spark requires manual optimization to boost its streaming speed. Therefore, Flink is easy to scale due to its automatic optimization power. But do they have any similarities? Yes. Both provide immense data processing capabilities at high speeds. They avail the process data for analysis by users. Additionally, both have built-in libraries for data streaming and machine learning. To sum up, which is better, Spark or Fink? I love Spark due to its high speed, extensive APIs, and comprehensive libraries. I also love Flink because it records higher performance, fault tolerance, and optimized capabilities. Overall, I choose Flink as the winner because it's faster, more resilient to faults, and easy to optimize. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.